Regeneration is body's ability to regrow or replace damaged cells or organs. For example, zebra fish can regrow its heart, spinal cord, retina, and fins. Starfish can regrow lost arm. In some species, a lost arm can even grow into entire new starfish. Planarians are flat worms, and this worm can regenerate any lost part of their body. Even if you cut into pieces, each piece can grow into new worm. Mexican salamander also can regrow enter limbs, spinal cord, heart, and other internal organs. And lizard is well known example who can regrow their tails if, if they lost. Human skin is good example of human regeneration abilities. Skin regenerates every day, especially when healing from wounds, bars, and abrasions. Erythrocytes or red blood cells also regenerate. They regenerate from bone marrow. Liver also has exceptional well ability to regenerate if you have even 25% of healthy liver, it can regrow to 100% of healthy liver. It's exceptional well regeneration for human. It, it may have evolutionary background because liver is first organ uh, which um, interacts with toxins and uh, poisons uh, human get so uh, liver injury is easy that's why it has uh, good ability to regenerate what is important limitations why person and humans cannot regenerate whole their body main limitation is cell differentiation cell differentiation means um, in organs cells are totally differentiated it means they stop uh, replication and duplication so uh, they stop multiplying and this uh, their condition is because of genetic factors uh, due to genetic factors their ability to regenerate are blocked by specific genes and it's also new ability if we stimulate some genes we can stimulate these cells to regrow and regenerate and we have several examples. For example, we have three genes. Uh, they are collectively referred as GMT in cardiac muscle. And uh, cardiac muscle and neurons, neural um, cells, are well known their high differentiation. It means they have no potential for regeneration in normal circumstances. But if you activate these genes, they start regeneration and you can convert fibroblast into cardiomyocytes and you can create cardiac muscles and eventually regenerate heart. Another important regeneration research is lungs. We have molecules which is called FGF10 and they have potential to stimulate regeneration of lungs. Also, beta-catenin is molecule which show promising results lung tissue regeneration. Another important example is regeneration of pancreas in diabetic mice uh, and you can create pancreatic beta cells which can stimulate insulin and its important possibilities. And prognosis what will be in near future. Of course, we have no exact knowledge what will be in the near future, but progress is too fast. And scientists already making organoids, which are tiny, self-organized, three-dimensional tissue cultures, uh, which derived from stem cells, and they have function as a normal organs. For example, lung, brain, heart, pancreas, and other organs. Also, we have genomic editing technologies, such as CRIPS, and uh, with uh, CRISP technology, you can modify genes, you can stimulate genes which are responsible on regeneration. So it can be used 
in humans potentially used in humans to modify cells and regrow um, patients own cells and bioengineering is important also bioengineering uh, it is called also 3d bioprinting uh, and researchers can print um, artificial organs from the patient's own cells and create new organs which fully functional so future is promising and of course uh, work new work is needed and lots of time is needed um, many trails is needed and implementation needs time but uh, we have serious potential in regeneration thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my videos and my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now